Hi everyone, this is meant to be a, a follow-up. Um, if you've seen me in class for some uh, beginner coding stuff and you liked it, but either you wanted to continue and extend or you just found that uh, maybe it was a little bit easy for you because you already knew um, some of the games through code.org, this is meant to be um, part of an extension. It can be done independently or it can be done together as a class. But really, the, the video is meant to um, break this down into chunks and um, to try something new. So this is, and I'll, I'll link this, I'll have linked this onto the LLC website. Um, this is one of the projects in CS First, which is Computer Science First from Google for Education. And there's just a, a series of projects that they have. Um, this one involves uh, coding a hero. They have some other neat ones that I, I may be able to get to, including uh, coding a Google Doodle, your own Google Doodle. And I like these activities a lot. They really break things down into small pieces. There's videos to help um, guide you through. Uh, and you might be asking, okay, there's already videos. Why would we record this video? Sometimes I think it helps even with the videos on screen to have someone kind of walking you through the process. Um, and I'm only going to walk you through a, a few of the steps. And then if you find that you're getting it and you want to explore a bit on your own, you always have that option afterwards. So for this project, they're going to be using Scratch. Um, some of you may have used Scratch before and may be familiar with it, or maybe you've used Scratch Junior in the past. Scratch is an awesome program uh, for coding, for block coding. It's a little bit trickier, or I will say it's a little less clear than, let's say, code.org. So we'll take a look at it together. So I'm going to click Start here. And uh, this is the introduction. There's about a three or four minute video, which I, I strongly recommend uh, you watching. Um, they're just going to talk about what the project's about. Uh, it's really about coding your hero to do something, to tell a type of story. And then what they will let you know is that underneath here, all of these, they have links, um, seven different links on how to make your hero do different things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do a couple of these things. I'm going to show you how to spin your hero. And I'm going to show you how to make your hero seem like they are gliding or moving and how to speak okay, or to add a speech bubble. So we're gonna focus on those three things. So I'm gonna skip over these videos. You could of course watch any of them um, and they're very well done. They're about two to three minutes uh, and they'll, they'll explain as best as they can what needs to be done. But I'm gonna go ahead and go into the program here. Okay, so after I've watched the intro video, what they tell us to do is actually go to the starter project. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And there it is, it's gonna load up my, uh, my project in Scratch. Okay, so I see a few things. I'm just gonna go through a few of the things. This is my uh, canvas or where I'm actually going to see the animations happening. Okay, here I get a list of my, what they call sprites. Sprites are any of the different characters or figures in the scene. And I also have, um, I also have X and Y coordinates. So similar to, you know, graphing, things like that. Um, this box, we can consider it in terms of the x-axis down at the bottom and the y-axis. And that's really going to help us when we want to move our character because we're going to have to move that character along the x and the y-axis. Okay. Right now, I can see that I'm highlighted on my hero sprite. If I was clicked onto my building, I'm now working on that sprite. Okay. So we want to make sure we're on the correct sprite. So I'm going to go back to hero. And the first thing I'm going to do um, this is my workspace where I'm actually going to be dragging in the block code and these are my options for uh, the actual block code. But one thing I want to do, because this is my project, I want to change my sprite. So I'm going to go up here to costumes. And what I have here is a list of uh, different costumes that I can use. Um, I think, I think I'm going to go with this one because I like the idea of, of what I consider to be, I guess, a, a dad with the baby carrier. I do want to just point out at the bottom, you know, there's there's 25 to choose from, but if I go to this, uh, the scratch cat, the plus button, you can continue to look for sprites. And there's a whole bunch of different sprites to look for. 
Um, the program has naturally selected sprites that kind of take on a, a superhero feel. So all, a lot of these um, won't have that, but if you wanted to bring different sprites, uh, this is the scratch mascot. If you wanted to bring different sprites into your uh, animation, you very well could. You can also, you can also upload some of your own costumes. I've never done this, but for some of our folks who perhaps want to try it um, and try and draw an image and bring their own image in, that would be like a next step. That would be something you might have to look into, but it'd be pretty cool to be able to bring in your own image. I'm going to go ahead and use this costume here. As soon as I'm ready for it, I'll just go back to up here at the top. I'll say code. And now I can see that my chosen sprite is there. Okay. Um, I'm going to start off by doing the following. Um, I want my character here. It looks like this character's flying. I can see kind of the, the speed trail behind. And it looks like there's a bird sitting on top of the house here. And let's just pretend for the sake of argument that maybe this bird's injured and this superhero is going to come over and try to save this bird. So the first thing I might want to do is over here, I'm going to see this option. Every time I click, I see new options of blocks and they're color coded. I'm going to go to looks and I'm going to see these blocks that say something. So I'm going to bring over this one that says hello for two seconds. And anytime you click on a block, it will test that block out for you. So if I just click on it, okay, so there it says, you can see on the screen, it says hello for two seconds and it comes up as a text file. So I'm going to add onto that, under that. Okay, I'm double clicking in here. I can delete and I can add my own text. Okay, so now I have two messages. When I click, because these are connected, it should it should end up playing both of them in order, each for two seconds. Perfect. So that's the first part of my um, animation here that I'm coding. Really, I just brought a couple blocks over that said, hello, I'm here to help. Uh, there's some of my speech bubbles. And the next thing I'm going to want to do is to get my character to do a movement. I'm gonna get this character to spin, and then I'm gonna get this character to glide over closer to the bird, okay? 